Welcome to the new episode of Money Works from your podcast. HDFC recently introduced a new international fund of funds and it's called as Developed World Index Fund of Funds. The benchmark it's following is MSCI World Index and the fund manager is Mr. Krishnan Kumar Daga. Indian investors now have one more avenue to invest in the developed markets. HDFC AMC has launched the Developed World Index's Fund of Funds and its NFO that is a new fund offer is open for subscription from September 17 to October 1, 2021. In this podcast, we are going to discuss about this unique international funds. I have with me our equity analyst Rushikesh to share his thoughts about this new fund of funds. So Rushikesh, tell me more about what is HDFC Developed World Index's Fund of Funds and what is so unique about this fund. Hi Aditya So HDFC Developed World Index's Fund of Fund is an international fund that invests in developed markets like US, Europe, Japan, Canada. So developed markets have large and strong economies. The companies listed in these markets are generally high quality and stable companies. This helps in generating good returns over long term. So that is very interesting. It is so good that investors have option to invest abroad through simple mutual fund route. What are the key advantages of investing internationally? first advantage i have already highlighted you know that developed markets tend to have a better business environment more innovation and governance i mentioned the country allocation of this fund us europe and canada have very high quality companies with stable profitability shareholder friendly management and transparent dividend policies in fact us is a widely tracked market with variety of businesses listed and is a fertile ground for multi bagger opportunities from innovative companies and multinational organizations Second advantage comes in the way of diversification in return performance. Uh, various economies have a uh, different trajectory in the long term and hence their equity performance will also differ from each other. By diversifying across few countries you can benefit if our home country India tends to lag in performance. So to cite an example from year 1992 to 2000 uh, Indian markets didn't generate much return and this was the period of post Harshad Mehta scam. but during the same time us market compounded at 24% per annum so in short the difference in return performance reduces volatility of the portfolio uh, one can also check how diversifying internationally is beneficial to reduce the volatility with the help of correlation ratio so nifty has a correlation of just 0.4 versus the msci world index so this means if nifty goes down by 1% MSCI World Index will just be down by 0.4% and vice versa. Okay. To my mind difference in return performance clearly looks like a big advantage for individual investors. So Rishikesh can you tell us more about how is the portfolio constructed and what is the impact of currency? Since it is a international investing I am sure currency movement plays a role in overall returns. Yeah you are right Aditya. Uh, let me give you a brief about how the portfolio is constructed. HDFC Developed World Index will build portfolio with low cost index funds primarily US Europe which comprise 90% of its portfolio other countries have lower representations so together all these indexes can give you exposure to 1500 stocks globally and close to 50% global gdp talking about exchange rates currency movements usually happen based on differentials in inflation between two countries So a country with higher inflation will see its currency depreciate versus the country with lower inflation. India has higher inflation than US, so rupee will depreciate versus dollar every year. Due to this, Indian investor can earn more rupees every year for every dollar. In last 25 years, rupee has depreciated at 3% per annum on an average. Can you tell us what is the expense ratio of this fund? Tax rate and what were the returns like in the past? Uh, so since this fund is comprised of index fund the expense ratio is just 0.5% per annum it is so remarkable that cost of investing internationally has come down so much tax rate for international fund is similar to debt fund taxation uh, selling within 3 years is taxed at your income tax lab and beyond 3 years it will be taxed at 20% after indexation and coming to past returns last 10 year returns from this fund were 18% compared to nifty's 15% however you need to keep in mind past performance is no guarantee of future returns so is it the right time to invest to international funds or hdfc developed world index fund of funds um i would say uh, go for sip 
So if you plan to invest for 10 to 15 years, current valuations will matter less, but uh, near term returns can be inferior versus long term average. So to avoid uh, near term disappointments, it is appropriate to take staggered approach to international investment, especially in funds that include large exposure to US markets. Since this fund, SDFC Developed World Index's fund of fund has about 70% in US equity, one can adopt an SIP route to investing in this fund once it is launched. Currently, the fund house will accept only lump sum inside of NFO window. So what according to you is a better option? Motilal Oswal S&P 500 Index Fund or SDFC Developed World Index's fund of funds? So Aditya, both the funds are low cost uh, and both are index fund and they are invested in developed markets. However, this fund, HDFC Developed World Index Fund of Fund includes Europe, Canada, Japan, etc. which adds uh, more diversification versus the uh, other fund that you mentioned. And the S&P 500 being a US index has better prospects due to innovative culture, business oriented policy making, etc. S&P 500 companies have large percent of sales coming from other than US, which makes S&P a global index anyways. So we recommend to be indifferent to either of funds S&P 500 is preferable for uh, reasons highlighted. All right. Thank you, Rishikesh, for your valuable inputs. To conclude, I will say that international investing makes sense for individual investors too. I insist all the investors to study international funds and gradually build up your international equity portfolio with the help of advisors. You can read more about SDFC Developed World Indexes on our Investment Shastra blog. I'm also sharing you the link below. We have covered many graphs and charts to explain about our today's discussion. Thank you.